Looking to the present with Matt Rule taking the helm as head coach here at the University of Nebraska, what are some qualities you might see in Coach Rule, but also in, in yourself? I think that his work ethic is really good. I think he's a good person and uh, he's a very good communicator. And uh, so I, I like Matt. I, I think Matt is doing enough of the right things that he will be successful. It may not be quick, may not be easy. And that's the thing that people have to understand is that, uh, uh, you know, for, we went 42 years without a losing season. And it kind of got to the point where people thought, well, we'll never have a losing season. And uh, we'll always win at least nine or ten games. And uh, so it's been kind of a shock to go through these last few years. But um, I think Matt has a good chance of getting it back on course. And, uh, you know, the thing about the, the football team is I've watched it. Uh, turnovers always make everything seem worse than they are. So you can have 95% of your team playing really well, but if you leave the ball on the ground or throw it to the other people four or five times a game, um, all of a sudden everything seems bad. It seems like nothing's working. But our defense is playing well. We have a pretty good running game. Offensive line is better. And um, kicking game's pretty good. And so uh, if we just take care of the ball, I think we'll have a pretty good year. In this day and age, what, what would be your formula to success? Well, <laughs> you have to work hard at recruiting. And the thing that has happened is the transfer portal has, is going to lead to a lot of uh, inconsistency. I think fans are going to see a lot more uh, unpredictability because of it. I think that uh, at some point the, uh, the conferences are going to have to take control because I don't think the NCAA is going to do it. When it comes to the foundation, the pillars of what Nebraska football as a program was built on, what, what are they? What comes to mind? Again, I, I guess I can quote the players and we we're never promised anything here. And uh, we tried to level with them. We said it's going to be competitive. And, uh, and, and you're going to have to perform. And, uh, and they said, you know, that had a ring of authenticity to it. Because they realized all these promises we might have been hearing were, were going to be hard to deliver on. Now, we lost some players because we didn't tell them what they wanted to hear. But I think that uh, we uh, certainly never gave an illegal inducement. And we tried not to make a promise that would be impossible to keep. What's the biggest lesson that coaching, coaching at the University of Nebraska taught you? <laughs> well, you know, I think it's important that you uh, don't be overly uh, concerned with other people's ideas. If we lost a game, I'd get a whole box of letters. It, at that time, there wasn't as much email. There was some. And, uh, and so I'd tell my secretary, well, I'll answer the ones that are signed. The ones that are unsigned, I won't. But uh, I'd have some people wanting to throw the ball every play, some people wanting to run the ball every play. <laughs> so you, you can't listen to all the, all the voices and you've got to decide what you really believe is important and focus on it.